Hello friends, Radhika Radhikumar here. So in this tutorial, we'll see an uh, PL SQL concept called uh, materialized view. Materialized views. So at the after completing this materialized view, we'll also see the difference between the materialized uh, view and uh, the normal view. What's the difference between those two? So here, the the first thing is materialized view is also called as uh, snapshots. Okay, it's also called as snapshots. So here, the materialized view is a database object which uh, physically stores the output of a query and uh, helps us in the uh, performance improvements. So mainly, this uh, materialized view is used for the. This is the main advantage of the materialized view that is, it'll uh, improve the performance. Okay, that is, it'll uh, store the output output of a query in a separate table ok. So, that is what this uh, main uh, thing that will happen it will just store the output of the query into some other table. So, and also it will the advantages it improves the performance then uh, the materialized view also has the ability to uh, refresh on their own whenever the base table gets affected we will see how we can do that. Uh, so, it will uh, refresh on its own whenever the base table gets affected ok. So, these are the four things that we need to know about the materialized view. One is the materialized view is also called as snapshots and uh, the materialized view is mainly used for uh, used to improve the performance whereas we know that views normal views that we use in SQL is used for the security purpose whereas here materialized view is mainly used for the performance sake and also this materialized view will store the output of a query uh, in a separate uh, table so that uh, uh, it will refresh on its own so that particular the materialized views table will get refreshed on its own whenever the base table that is uh, from where we get the output the base whenever the base table gets affected ok. So, we will see how this works and uh, this is what you need to uh, know about materialized view in brief. Then coming to the intervals of um, refresh I says as I said uh, uh, the you know metalized ha metal metalized view has the ability to refresh on its own it has some intervals like uh, when and all it will get refreshed one is the manual refresh and uh, then the second one is automatic refresh ok. So, manual refresh uh, is uh, where uh, it will uh, refresh only on demand on demand that is we need to manually specify so that the uh, metalized view will get uh, refreshed whenever when the base table gets uh, uh, you know updated or not. So, automatic refresh is um, when we say commit. So, at that time uh, automatically this uh, you know the, the metalized view will get uh, refreshed. So, refresh on uh, commit. So, this is what is called as um, automatic refresh. So, uh, as I said from the beginning the manual refresh uh, we need to forcibly refresh the changes from the base table to metalized view using uh, we will see how we can do this ma um, manual refresh uh, or else this uh, manual refresh will be done something called uh, by using uh, dbms underscore snapshot dot refresh underscore m view this is a package. Um, so, by using this uh, we will be doing the manual refresh whereas uh, commit auto sorry uh, automatic refresh whenever we say commit the changes of the base table will be automatically uh, the you know automatically will refresh the materialized view. So, these are the intervals of uh, refresh ok. So, uh, in the next tutorial what we will do is we will see the uh, difference that is the types of refresh that are available. So, uh, you I guess you people have understood uh, what exactly is metalized view and what are the intervals of refresh. So, I will continue this in the next tutorial and uh, thank you very much for watching.